Okay, I'm going to show you a new computer I just built. Uh, it's for my senior project. Before I turn it on, I'm going to open it up so you can get a better view of what's inside of it. Okay, I have a 550 watt power supply. Power in a older Pentium D processor and a 9800 GT graphics card. And there's my sound card and my TV tuner. And the reason I have it on its side is because right now the heat sink was from the old Dell since they have these stupid that thing on each side it's screwed into their proprietary thing in their stupid computer so I can't screw it to this motherboard and eventually I'm gonna get a new processor so I'm gonna make another video when I get that I got two DVD drives fan controller and media card reader and it's my Raptor X hard drive it has a clear window so you can see it okay this on. It's a little loud right now until I um get a new CPU fan because I need these fans up so that will stay cool. For some reason instead of starting up on that screen it starts on that screen first. And show you my bias. It's a pretty basic bias. It's a XFX 750i motherboard. I got it from Tiger Direct. It's your basic things. CPU is pretty old, so it doesn't have any f features. And I have right now an overclocked, so stock 2.8 gigahertz Pentium D. I have it at 3.3 gigahertz right now. And the little jumper, I don't know if you can see, but. Where that green light is is a jumper that you have pin that you have to change to enable overclocking, which is what that means. And you go here. I think the stock is 800 for FSB, and memory stock is 667. So I changed all that. You can't change the multiplier for some reason on this CPU, but. The voltage I rose one from stock, and then memory I left at stock voltage. Then that I rose as high as it said for it says it's not recommended. And north bridge I did the same. South bridge I left stock, and then I just F10 and the boot. I have Vista, uh, not Vista, Windows 7 Ultimate 64 bit on this computer.
Eventually I plan on getting a Q9400 CPU, so it should boot up a lot faster once I get that. See now it's over to the screen. Dual monitors to show you the hard drive is really cool. And I forgot to show you the back ports on the computer. Yeah, that's a LED indicator. It tells you if um, something's wrong. It gives you little codes. And that's a CMOS reset. Here. I don't use integrated audio, so I just use my sound card. Here's my graphics card, network. USB. Right now I haven't got ESATA to work, plug and play, but if you have the hard drive plugged in and you start up the computer, it will work fine. And uh, you can hear our camera, but there's a lot of air blowing out. Get up closer. Mostly coming from those two top fans up there. Then I can make it a lot quieter right now. If I use speed fan, let me find it. Speed fan. Right there. loading all the information show you my temperatures while that's loading and you have once that gets out of the way and your voltages CPU temperature and I think that other one is the North Bridge temperature. I'm not sure. And your fan RPMs. You have your GPU temperature. And then your hard drive temperature. Now this is loading. Oh. The, the temperature for the G9800 GT is fine. You know, it says it's really hot. And, and I click, this is what fan slot is on. And that's the lowest I go, otherwise the fan just turns off. As it gets a lot quieter. Then I can just turn this knob right here. And it gets really quiet. And I just hear my hard drive going. But right now, I don't, since I don't have a fan on that, I need to have the fan up to otherwise it overheats. It gets really hot, like at 60 Celsius. But I guess turn the fan up. Usually it's 75 if I'm just web browsing. And it'd be just fine. And that's all I got to show you now. And Hopefully within a month or so, I will have a new CPU and I get, and maybe some cold and kaffir lights lined up along here, sound activated, and I'll post another video of all that. And see you for now.